Hi all, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we will discussing a very hot topic, uh, build apps. So yeah, uh, let's discuss about what builds app are, what is no code platform and how build app is uh, totally changing the user experience, the development experience and how it is streamlining the, you know, the different, different technical prospects into a very easy solution. So uh, let's, uh, <coughs> let's start it uh, quickly. So in this video, we will try to understand what is SAP Builds app, what is reason to use a build app, what are the various technical aspects uh, of Builds app, okay? So uh, uh, while we are talking about the build app, let first understand that you know uh, you can either be a business owner, you can either be a process owner, data owner. Uh, does not matter. You are an SAP subject matter expert. You are an analyst. You are an IT architect, or uh, you can either be someone who is from functional department, from technical department. The thing which matters is you want to solve a problem and you want to add value to the table while adding value to the table in business it, it somewhere means you know we are uh, improvising a standard business process we are uh, streamlining the user experience we are adding value to that particular business process so while we are solving the problem we can be either from any department you can be from finance you can be from uh, logistics uh, you can be from hr you can be a technical consultant, then you can be a functional consultant, basis guy, security guy, does not matter, uh, you come from any line of business, any vertical of business. But the thing is that, you know, most of us, most of layman people have an idea. They, they, uh, most of the time, you know, people as a user, even we think, okay, this can be done, this can be done. Let's say while using an iOS app, I may come up with an idea that, okay, this can be improvised. But uh, can I do it? If I don't know the uh, iOS perspective, if I don't know that uh, the Swift coding, if I don't uh, know the, what the latest, whatever they are using. So that is why we lack. We have an uh, we have a lot of ideas in uh, day to day life. Uh, uh, we have a lot of ideas, you know, when we are working on a particular line of business. But where we stuck is that most of us don't have that specific business know uh, that specific technical knowledge. So we we uh, the barrier comes that okay every time you have an idea probably even to discuss its feasibility not talking about the implementation just for the feasibility analysis we have to go to the technical guy and speak to them and uh, since we are in the process we may have that access but think of the people who who don't have even that access that they can you know go to the technical guy and and speak about their idea so that is why. Uh, SAP builds and uh, low code, no code things are uh, trending these days. So uh, before understanding uh, deeply into SAP builds, let, let's understand what is low code, no code thing. What are these platforms, what, what they exactly do, what, what is the requirement. So uh, low code and no code platforms are the tool for the people uh, who have a very little uh, coding background who does not uh, either they does not know how to code or uh, probably they don't have uh, you know that much time to write a couple of lines of code they just uh, want a platform where they can easily and quickly build and deploy their application so what happens in this uh, low code no code things are people are given a visual interface development environment or stimulator type of thing uh, where they can you know drag and drop the program components let's say i have to create a text box i'll, I'll just drag it and uh, uh, drop it into the visual perspective probably and uh, do all the functionality and then i will build test and deploy my apps with the simplicity of use and what is the major benefit of low code no code is that you know it lowers the entry in development now since we don't need to have technical background we uh, we don't have so much barriers okay gone are the days when you know uh, uh, anybody will come okay you know this 10 20 languages validation things no with the with the good business knowledge and with the minimalistic technical knowledge now low code no code thing works works wonder for everybody 
दो नो कोड एंड नो कोड प्लेटफॉर्म मे अपियर सिमिलर हेयर बट आई वुड से दैट देर इज अ थिन लाइन बिटवीन अ लो कोड एंड नो कोड प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर एसपी सी इज दैट सो वट इज लो कोड एंड वट इज नो कोड Uh, when we talk about low code low code is uh, is a kind of platform where you know uh, you can build applications with a minimalistic coding experience uh, you simply write a particular line of codes and you know things work for you whereas for no code sap clearly uh, clearly says that okay it uh, it is like it is a completely drag and drop environment based on the visual effects quite thin but for low code we come up with uh, with certain validations or certain line of code with no code uh, there is no coding at all required we will see that in the sap build interface what are the benefits of low code we are discussing it but let's re reset it uh, faster development and launch cycle since there need not to be a lot of technical expertise so the development cycle becomes faster smaller F degree of freedom since everybody does not know uh, the, does not need the technical expertise so it 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 has a kind of certain degree of freedom it promotes innovation let's say as a as a small business uh, process owner uh, or uh, or i am someone who does not have that particular reach uh, within my organization and i have a certain idea so to just to validate even my idea i can probably use this lcnc thing and it it promotes my innovation increases efficiency definitely it's easy to understand and it increases the agility of overall process and okay let's say what is full stack uh, what is build full stack enterprise let's understand it quickly so it's a kind of drag and drop user interface you can create uh, any logical visual without code it provides you while talking about the sap build app it provides you know through the api and the cloud storage capability with the build app there is a seamless connection to sap and non sap solutions and uh, sap build app supports multiple platforms you can build your app on just like sorry you can either run your app on mobile you can either run it on desktop or if uh, god say if any any third thing come into picture it can also run on to that Okay, without uh, now without moving further, let's see it on the system on the uh, real life application. What is SAP Build App? That, this is just a very broader view. In the upcoming videos, we will uh, uh, slowly, slowly see into the minor, minor details. But uh, this is how the SAP Build App uh, looks like. The testing and uh, the uh, uh, environment of SAP Build App look like. So you can see that uh, okay, this is welcome to Build App. This is provided by SAP. here uh, you have a feasibility to create you can see the create option so you can uh, quickly go and create application okay it says it, it provides with a lot of uh, though this are this seems to be a paid version so you build an application okay let's say uh, i go and build an application okay it it ask me what application you want to build web application or mobile application or you want to build an application back end let's say i go with the create i give a test name let's say my application is test application test okay i create it okay let's see what happens when we create an app okay another window pops up you see it is running in on hana cloud my sap build is uh, my sap build app is launching okay so it says creating a new app it is loading templates for us now to save the new app and here the canvas for my build app is launched so you can say you know there is a lot of option and it is just a drag and drop thing guys you probably need an icon you drop it there and you arrange it you need a card look you uh, drop it you give it title you give it a description page id definitely a few things to understand but 
uh, definitely an easier experience as compared to if I have to probably write the code for creating an image, if I have to write the code for creating a text, if I have to write the code for creating an icon. And you can see that there are a lot of options. Since it's an LCNC platform, uh, it is uh, not completely low code, it is not completely no code. So uh, it also provides you if I go at you know a little uh, down, so you can say add logic. So basically what happens is that for certain things if I need extra validation I can add logics which comes under a little advanced part. Look, set app variable which definitely needs certain coding idea but not the extensive coding knowledge. I guess anybody who, who has a decent knowledge can, can try to learn it. Okay, you can get record even it asks you to uh, you know, uh, advanced versions. So you can uh, put validations by JavaScript, you can receive event, uh, you can trigger event. So a lot of things to do. And uh, there are a lot of themes, navigation data, okay. Let's say now I created the front end. I have to get the data. I can connect it to any source, create data entity. So create data identity, let's uh, create data entity, let's see that how many options SAP provides, it's highly compatible. You can either it compare it to the REST API, you can uh, make it with the uh, work with data integration, or data integration, you can connect it to any uh, Google Firebase, you can check the option yourself, SAP, BTP destination, marketplace search, anything you speak of and majorly things SAP is providing. Then you have to do authorization, okay, I need to, uh, authentication, I need to authenticate my application, there are ways to do it. You need help, you need navigation, so a lot of things are there in SAP build itself. So that is why it is, it's a kind of very good solution to, you know, fast the process. Uh, let's come back to the slide. Okay, so what, uh, what is my target audience for uh, SAP build app? I would say literally anyone who is into business process because as we already discussed I guess in, in uh, probably in a few slides back that you can be a business owner, data owner, SME, uh, you are analyst, does not matter guys. The thing which matters is that if you have a keen interest in learning uh, build app, even if you are uh, just someone who has been uh, working as an end user and have a fair share knowledge of things. SAP build can be your thing. Okay, let's see ahead. Okay, so if we go ahead and see. Okay, let's see SAP build app as a solution. So how uh, you can uh, see that, you know, SAP is integrating with a lot of third parties. And since SAP build app is offered as a part of, you know, SAP BTP, it's a, it's a solution. So uh, SAP BTP also offers you the build app thing in the application development package. So uh, it, it can be understood as a part of SAP build suit, whereas you know, uh, build app is the first thing you build visually things, then you can do SAP build automation, and then um, you can design business sites. So it, it's a part of you know, the complete SAP build suit, I can say. Uh, pardon if I made any mistake, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's as per my understanding, SAP build suit. So there are multiple things to go which we will try to explore slowly slowly in two upcoming videos. So this is how the SAP build works. And before moving further, I would like to uh, throw some light on the past, you know, that how SAP build came into picture. So a few years back, I guess in 2020 or 2021, Basically, there were some uh, the uh, the most uh, authenticated uh, authenticated uh, low build solution was AppGuy. It it is known as App AppGuy. So uh, lately, SAP acquired it for the low code uh, no code platform, and that is how SAP Build came into picture. So you can also uh, go to their uh, website and explore things for a better. Uh, understanding perspective they have you know all the details here you can start your guided experience there and obviously in coming video i'll say you that you know how you can uh, probably uh, explore for the sap build uh, free interface so that 
so that was uh, some basics about you can start guided experience and there is also some a uh, community version of it so you can also uh, check out things just for the knowledge you know what what all can we do here and we talk about application i guess anybody from any application uh, can be uh, from any application suit can do things and uh, in in the series of upcoming videos we'll probably try to build one application end to end with sap builds i hope this video uh, added some value to your knowledge thank you so much guys for watching it